Corn pudding is a favorite family holiday side dish. Great for potlucks, too. It's creamy, savory, and sweet. It goes great with ham, turkey, and even roast. Okay, let's get our ingredients together. I've got two cups of corn here, and I'm using fresh corn because I had corn in the freezer. Um, if you use fresh corn, you need to blanch it four to five minutes or steam it. But you can use frozen corn or you can use canned corn, whichever you got. So two cups of corn, sweet corn. I'm gonna need four eggs. I've got two tablespoons of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and one teaspoon of salt. I've got two tablespoons of sugar, a fourth a cup of butter, about a half a cup of milk and a whole cup of heavy cream. Heavy cream is what's going to give it that nice fluffy um, texture to your pudding. And I'm going to put some green chilies in there, and that's just optional. You can also add onions. You can add bell peppers. So I'm going to add my corn to the food processor. And I'm just going to pulse it a few times and kind of chop that corn up a little bit so that you don't have big old hunks of corn in there. I just, I like it better that way. And there's so many different recipes for corn pudding. And this is just one that, that I prefer. It's really good. And I'm going to go ahead and add my other ingredients in here. I'm just going to mix it up in here inside the food processor. I'm going to add my milk. Add my heavy cream. I'm going to add my, my butter. And this is such a good side dish. It's just a good comforting side dish for your ham and turkey. I added my sugar. I'm going to add my four eggs. And like I said, there's so many recipes out there for corn pudding, and some of them have a jiffy cornbread mix in them. This is more like your old-fashioned corn pudding. You could put a little bit of cheese in here, too. And even some people add just a little hint of nutmeg in it. Mr. Brown and I aren't real fans of nutmeg, so I'm not going to put any. You're going to need to set your oven to about 350. I'm going to pulse this about four or five times. Just get it good and mixed up. I'm going to add my green chilies which are optional. Scallions are really good in this corn pudding, if you like scallions or onions. I think if I was going to put bell peppers in it, I'd probably saute them a little bit before I put them in there. Now I'm going to add my, my dry ingredients, the flour, the baking powder, and the salt. And this is what's going to thicken your pudding and... Uh, kind of lift it up and let it rise a little bit. Now I'm going to put mine in a um, 9 by 13 pan. You can put yours in a little bit smaller one and it'll be a thicker pudding. Now I'm just going to mix this up a little bit. I don't want to mix it too much. And the thing about doing it in a food processor is it really aerates your, your mixture, which is what's going to make it light and fluffy. So that's all there is to that. And you can see what it looks like, and it's, it's going to be runny. It's not going to be thick. So I'm going to get my baking dish ready. Okay, I got my baking dish ready. I'm going to, I put a little bit of olive oil in here. You need to grease the, 
bottom of your pan and up and down the sides. You can use butter, olive oil, um, whatever kind of oil you use. I just prefer to use olive oil or butter for something like this. You just pour your, your pudding in there. You can see how runny it is, and that, that's good. So now we're going to get it in the oven, 350, for about 45 minutes. It's going to get good and brown on top. And uh, the inside's just going to be real good and fluffy and just be a real light texture. This is really good corn pudding. Looking good. Okay, we're going to taste this real quick. And uh, it's good and brown around the ends. The top is brown and it looks really good on the inside, light and fluffy. Okay, I'm going to taste it. And it's, when I dipped it out of the, the baking dish, you could tell that it was just really light and airy. And I can smell them green chilies. It's hot. It is. It is. It's really light. Airy, fluffy. It's just got a real light consistency to it. I've not had a corn pudding in a long time. But this is one of my favorites. And like I said, you can put, of course, I put the green chilies in it to give it just a little bit of a southwestern taste, but uh, you could even put cheese in here, too. So this is a keeper. It's really good. And I hope you all like this recipe. It's a really delicious side dish for any... Uh, Thanksgiving table for it's it goes really good with your turkey and your ham and everything. So anyways It's, it's a really great recipe So I hope y'all try it. I think you're really gonna like it and uh, Happy Thanksgiving everybody and I'll probably see you tomorrow one more time before Thanksgiving. So uh, God bless everybody